Hey there, I wanted to take a quick video to explain something. And this is something that I made the mistake of when I first started off, when I first started teaching myself programming. You see, you start off with HTML and things are fairly simple. You learn some tags, you learn some attributes, and you're starting to get it, how websites are built. And then you learn about CSS and all the things that you can do to websites to make them pretty and beautiful. But then you start encountering all these CSS properties. There's so many of them. There's no way for you to remember all of them. And they each act differently on the element. So that things like positioning a navigation bar becomes really difficult because you have one button that for some reason is styled differently and you can't figure out why. And that is a problem that everybody has. CSS is notoriously difficult and frustrating to learn. But this is the mistake that I made when I first started off. I thought I had to know everything in HTML, everything in CSS before I even touched JavaScript. So I spent way too much time learning everything about HTML, everything about CSS, getting frustrated and frustrated because I couldn't get my websites to look like somebody that has been doing it for years. And here's the thing. If this was that easy, then every single person would be doing it. But it's not. It's tough to master these skills. But each day you make small little progress, step by step, so you become better. However, I don't want you to fall into the trap that I did. That is, to not start off learning JavaScript right away. Because you see these circles over here? These circle, the size of them, represent how important they are to your career. Now, if you want to be a web designer, designing websites and making things look pretty, then CSS is quite important to you. However, if you want to be a developer, somebody that works on logic, on JavaScript, and builds applications, well, you need to focus on JavaScript. Because although you need to know CSS, those are things that you're going to work on while working on JavaScript. So each time you're learning JavaScript and working with websites, you're also, as an effect, working with CSS. So although your knowledge might not feel complete right now with CSS, by using JavaScript and starting with JavaScript as soon as possible, we focus on the most important topic at hand. And little by little, as you're learning JavaScript, you're also going to learn more and more about CSS. So I encourage you, trust me on this, because I've been through it as well. Don't start learning every single CSS property, trying to memorize everything, because that's not how you work. A web developer is somebody that uses JavaScript. JavaScript to make smart applications. And that is what your focus should be on. And along the way, you will also build your HTML and CSS knowledge. And that is the path that we're taking with this course. Not the longest, slowest path, but the most efficient path. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.